Hi, it's Chris. And I have this little knitting machine, which is kind of neat for making little hats and socks and things. But I want to make a replacement needle for it. First, let's take the machine apart so I can get the needle out. It's a pretty small detailed part, so it's going to be hard both to scan and to print. I'm going to try to use my RevoPoint pop scanner to do the scan. Okay, I'm going to do a new scan. It's marker based, no texture. I'm going to set the depth back down. Lots of markers here visible. I'm going to start scanning. And what happens is it loses track despite having all the markers and then it gives you some really bizarre um, final geometry. So it took what looked like a good scan and made a terrible thing. I contacted uh, RevelPoint support and they said that you really need to have parts that are at least 50 millimeters by 50 by 50. So what I did is I got a coffee cup, turned it upside down and put the part on top and that seemed to work fine. I made three scans of different orientations. The downside of this approach is that you actually get the coffee, can, the coffee mug in it. So you actually have to go around and edit out the coffee cup to get the individual scan of the sewing needle that I was trying to do. So in this case I have to select around the part and do this several times. I'm going to invert the selection and delete it. And I have to just keep on doing this until I get rid of everything except for the piece that I want. Here's the first scan. Here's the second scan. Here's the third scan. You can see that the alignment was very hard to do. There's so little in common between the different scans and the data is pretty poor. I've loaded the three point clouds together into the design software. You can still see it's pretty ratty. So I'm going to have to be really careful sketching things out. My approach was to use a caliper and go over each little detail that I could and measure it and put it in what I considered the correct uh, distances. I drew the post in, some of the top detail, some of the side track. After extruding the different parts to the caliper distances, this is what I got for a cab metal, and you can see the yellow is the point cloud I started with. I have two different 3D printers to try. I have an Elgu SLA printer, and I have a Prusa FDM printer. I've loaded the STL model into the slicer that came with the Elgu SLA printer, and it's automatically added the supports, and now I'm going to send it to the printer. And the print stops here. Rinsing the part. That's the part with the support still on. I just clipped off the support material with the nippers. Looks pretty close. Even though FDM printers are not really meant to do really small fine detail, I'm using my Prusa in ultra detail mode and I'm going to give it a shot and see how it makes out. I put two different parts in two different orientations because I wasn't sure how the support material would handle. Here you can see how it's placed it. It's going to be a bear to get off, I can tell. Hey, 
after removing the support on the green petchy parts they look pretty ratty I had to sand them a little bit you can see how much sharper the gray SLA part is I put the worst case green petchy needle in and gave it a shot it goes up and down okay but I'm afraid the roughness may catch the filaments of the yarn it seems to work okay so I guess we're great My new POP2 3D scanner should be arriving pretty soon and it's a much higher resolution than the POP that I showed here. But this still shows what you can do with limited resolution if you're willing to put the effort in. I'm hoping RevoPoint continues to develop new products. It'd be really nice to have a small field, very high resolution system. Well, hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.